That's really a great analogy right there. <laughs> so, I go into this thing now. You gotta understand, a lot of people are claustrophobic. Just putting on the dive gear. Getting in the water is like double claustrophobia. Now, how old were you guys when you did this? It was a long time oh, ago? 23, 25. Oh, no, very deep adult. Yeah, no, we're young men. Okay. And I was already, I was already a cop, I think. You were. And you were diving where here in Florida? Yes, I'm Yeah, we're in Sarasota, south of here. Oh, okay, right, right. So right. anyway, Jesus Christ, let me tell the story. <laughs> so I go into this thing. Welcome. And I'm swimming across, and I keep, I check my gauge, and it's getting darker and darker because it's dark in the center of it. I can't read shit. We don't have lights because it wasn't a, that kind of a dive. So it's like I knew I was already redlining. And the lower you go, if you're already redlining, the deeper you go, it's like, it goes, you know, how it goes really fast. Because the pressures are greater and the oxygen is condensed in your mm -hmm. tank. So I'm getting closer and closer to that thing. I get out to the other side and I no sooner clear it and get out in the opening and it goes, boom. And I draw my last breath. Wow. And I'm 40 feet down, 40, 45 feet down. Oh this thing's tipped. And so I'm looking for Kelly. And I can't freaking find Kelly. Normally, I'm not panicked. I'm thinking, this is it. Kelly is sucking air faster than me. <gasps> and I, I know I went down, and I realized at that point, he was also swimming at an angle. He didn't understand it as well as I did. So I thought, fuck, Kelly's in trouble. So... Here I am, trying to hold my breath. I held it as long as I could, and I swam around the bottom, looking for him, tried to get back to the back of the boat, the, this thing. You're I swam inside the barge? No, I'm out oh, now. Out. Okay, I'm out, okay. Because he never came in. Yeah, so okay. I'm trying to That's get back to that okay. opening. I get yeah. about two thirds of the way back, and I cannot hold my breath anymore. And I can't draw any, there's no more air to draw. Oh my gosh. So I start blowing out. You gotta blow out air yep. going up and all this shit. And I'm passing my bubbles. You're not supposed to pass your bubbles going up. And I am passing them because I want to grab another tank off of somebody and go back down. And uh, I get up and I out of the water at the top. <laughs> There's Kelly yucking it up with a bunch of people. Oh. He's up there. He freaking deserted me. Oh my God. Really? Oh you my never God. leave your buddy. Oh my God. 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 Oh, is, that, is, that, Kelly, is that not a 100% true story? Yep. Vividly. Now, tell, <laughs> him about, tell him about the shark. Oh, I wanted Kelly to love diving as much as I did. So, I had a boat. We go out diving. And I did. We did this all the time. I dove all the time. Went to the Keys. Everywhere. I dove every sink around here. I went all over the state. I went to every, if there was a sinkhole, I was in it. Oh, wow. I've, I've been to almost every one of them in the state that were, that were, had reputations. So, I take Kelly out to go spearfishing. Jesus Christ, don't take your brother to go spearfishing. Because I give him a spear gun. We anchor. It's just Kelly and I. We got the flag up. We go down. We, we follow the anchor rope down. And I've got uh, this device that Trish bought me. It was a Loran. Showed the, the coordinates. I knew where the ledge was. So we're heading to this ledge. And Kelly, little Mr. Perky, he's trying to get ahead of me because he wants to shoot the first fish. And we come up on this ledge. And it's a big ledge. For out here, it's a big ledge. It was like three or four feet. So as we're getting close to it, Kelly's like 10, 15 feet ahead of me. And I'm taking my time. Kelly is like... <laughs> He's like, freaking, he's, like he's like a bug. He's like a bug. He's a little flipping beagle. So he gets up there and I and he's like all excited and he's got the powered spear gun and he is like and he's aiming at this fish that's hanging out the end of this ledge and it's about this long and I see a couple of bumps on it and it's like I swim as fast as I can and I'm pulling on him and I'm beating him in the leg. And he's like, he's flipping me off underwater because he thinks I want to take his shot. <clears throat> and I'm trying to get him to not take the shot. It's a nine foot nurse shark that he's trying to shoot the tail end of. Oh. So, That's no kidding. Take off and run with him. Okay. So, oh, is that it? Finally, yeah, nurse sharks oh, are. Oh, well, it would bite him. There's yeah. a guy that was just, oh. just in the paper with a bite recently. From a nurse Whoa. shark? Nurse shark. Yeah. Oh, actually, he's a sports guy. Got yeah, bit in the shoulder. From he a nurse shark? He was lobstering. Wow. And sure enough, nurse shark whacked him because he wanted the lobster. Oh, yeah. It was okay. just in the paper. Dude, that's Incidental. Good. So 
Same dive trip. I finally get Kelly to, re he didn't fire the gun. And I get to, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> don't do it. So finally he's like, and then he's like. I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, and his eyes that are like this in the mask. And then you hear. <laughs> <laughs> These bubbles are blowing everywhere. So anyway, we end up, we shoot a couple of fish and it was, it was a lot of fun. But I always kind of push the limits on how far to go with the oxygen. But I knew we could go up to the top. So we're actually redlining. You really shouldn't get to redline. And so we kind of lazily take our way up to the top. And it's like, holy crap, we are so far from our boat. It's a long ways away. It's like, shit, I didn't plan on that. So you can swim better below the waves. Yeah, of course. We still both have a little bit of air. So we go below the waves. Kelly's ahead of me. I always want him ahead of me because I never know what the little shit's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, you know, I picked on Kelly his entire life. Imagine that. Yeah. yeah. So, you created this monster? Oh, yeah. so we're heading to the boat. And then I see Remora. Okay. There's a persistent Remora that's about this long. What's a Remora? It's, it's one like of those sucker fish. Yeah. They'll oh. actually attach to you. They attach they to sharks and stuff, and they yeah, they think they're they, actually they, yeah, they, they clean the glass. They clean, I've they seen actually them on fish. Then I've seen them on sharks and whales and whatever. Yeah, off of, yeah. Anyway, off of the fish. you know me. The There's an opportunity to have fun here. So, oh boy, Kelly's swimming along and all this stuff, and he's very comfortable. But we're ten feet below the water. We're we're up there. We can get a breath if you want to, but we're conserving and trying to get back to the boat. So as we're going along, and this flipping remora is trying to attach to him. And so I'm, I'm laughing. My little bubbles are going crazy <laughs> in my mess. And so finally I decided I'd let Kelly know. So I get up close to him and I tap on his spin because he's like, he's like on a mission. Kelly's yeah. always on a mission. So he's oh, up yeah. ahead of me trying to do this. And his little strokes, I can do. <laughs> and I'm like right on top of him. <laughs> but Kelly's like a little beaver. <laughs> oh my God. So I get up to him and I tap his spin and he's like, he turns around. I don't know if he flipped me off. He did that a lot underwater. <laughs> so basically, screw you, I'm going to the boat. And so I said, I did this thing like, no. And I point to this remora that's trying to attach to him. Holy shit, did he blow bubbles. <laughs> he, he is blowing bubbles. And he this fish is trying to attach to him. And Kelly, <laughs> Kelly oh thinks it's a shark trying to eat his chest away. And, and the more he's doing that, the more I'm eating up this oxygen, trying to get to the boat. I am crying in my mess. <laughs> it was so good. We, we ended up, I don't know, maybe 30 yards from the boat or something. Kelly is screaming the F word out of his mask. I am hearing the F word through his regulator. <laughs> and, he, and we... I am just darling because it's a harmless fish. We get to the boat. Oh. Kelly usually needed my help to get in the boat. He gets to the boat, he drops his tank, throws off all of his shit, and he is like climbing up the back of the boat. And I'm I'm trying to collect gear, but I'm crying in my mask trying to collect this stuff. I ended up collecting everything. I think I I think I lost the shaft out of the spear gun because I think he, he fired it. At yeah. this thing. Oh, did so, you have a remark? Yeah. Oh, God, it was so funny. <laughs> oh, well, worse than that is over the, the kennel with the dog that you let out. That somebody let out. I can't help it, Kelly. You're just such a target. <laughs> it was like a very emasculating. <laughs> 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 oh. Very emasculating. <laughs> well, I can be. His name is Tom, it's just adulthood. <laughs> I convinced Kelly, and he, he's always generous with helping. Usually doesn't know what he's doing, but if you give him a basic task, he can do a really good job at it. So we get over. Oh, <laughs> that's a compliment. No, oh no, the tool. Yeah, that's a compliment right there. Like okay. Trust me, trust me. I know what I'm saying. That's what we call a compliment. So, oh, he can tell you how to do it, <laughs> yeah. but to physically do it himself, <laughs> oh, that's, that's another game. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're over at the hospital. That's why he's the project manager. <laughs> yeah. And anytime so I ever mess with somebody, I usually set it up. And over there. There's a whole history with Kelly and I and dogs, and Kelly being deathly afraid of dogs. And he had overcome it. 90%. 80. 80% or 70, depending on who you're talking to. 
But anyway, he's over there and he's doing a great job with the pressure washing. He's cleaning out all the runs and stuff. And it, but when we got there, there are runs of other dogs and there's one really big dog there. And it's big, big. And it's not a friendly dog. Kelly's leery of it. Our staff has been moving dogs to other runs while Kelly does this stuff. Mm -hmm. But when Kelly sees a dog, he never forgets that he saw that dog. And I know this because of what I've done to him in the past. So, <laughs> so between the inside of the kennel and the outside, there's a flap. Our kennel manager has taken the big dog that was in that kennel and moved it. But there's this shuffling going on. Kelly's already done a couple of kennel uh, runs. So he's kind of like, we're staying ahead of him. He's got earmuffs on. The ear protection, and he's right. running this pressure wire. You can't hear crap yeah. when you're doing that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, he's working on that, and then there's this flap, and it's a lot like you see on the tractor trailer trucks. You know that thing that's behind the rear tires? Yeah. That's what it is, yeah. separating. So Kelly's in there. Shh. I come in the rear of the kennel. I come from the outside, up the run. <laughs> Kelly's in there, just pressure washing away, and so. I grab that rubber thing that's flapping there, and I and I know he's got it. Really can't hear through these earmuffs. <laughs> and so I go, and I wrap that thing around his leg, and I bang on it, and I go. Rah, 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 rah. Oh my god! Shall <laughs> <laughs> he screams like a girl? And he, is, he is pressure washing the ceiling. He is spraying yeah. everything, and he's screaming. <laughs> Over the top screaming like a girl. Oh, that's funny. So now we know why so, you have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. yeah, huh? yeah, thanks oh, to the big brother. It was huh? so <laughs> that wonderful. That was one of my best experiences with my brother. <laughs> Classic. I like, the bar I like the barge dive story. That's funny. Yeah. It wasn't <laughs> funny when I got up. No, well, I bet. Because yeah, I damn Yeah, you were drowned. worried. I damn yeah. drowned. I almost didn't make it to the top. I was 20, 30 feet down still. I already so, had friends. And I'm blowing out trying to get up. <laughs> I already he had friends. I already had friends. <laughs> he did. And he oh, could care. I'm that? screaming at him. I get to him and I'm chewing him out. And he's like oblivious. He had no idea. That yeah, but you should have never gone in the boat. Well, that's me. Yeah. You got to understand me. Yeah. If you wouldn't have went in the boat, you wouldn't have almost. Buddy system. Buddy system. 